I know now uh, there, are, there are some um, like um, science programs and astronomy shows. There's a photography show on the Internet. There's all kinds of interesting uh, um, niche programming like that, which personally Alan H. Wiener would love to bring to the air. But, but it, it, I, the transmit of time just costs too much. Even, ladies and gentlemen, even I can't afford to, I, even I can't afford to grab hours on my own radio station. Can you believe that now? I do believe it. I mean, even I can't do that. Otherwise, you'd just be on the air. Right. Otherwise, I'd be blabbing and, and, and blabbing away, uh, you know, for hours on end. And I've thought of it. You know, I mean, I've actually I've actually thought of, uh, you know, taking a block of 5110 time and doing Alan Wiener Worldwide, like three or four hours a, a day or two hours a day or whatever, five days a week. I've actually thought about it. And I said, well, I can't do it. I can't afford it. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just too much money to pay the electric bill. I can't do it. And then the depreciation of the tubes, and you know, having somebody to do that, and all this, I just, just can't do it. But Jennifer's right. Many of you out there, I mean, think about this. You really want to help BCQ, ladies and gentlemen. You really want to uh, add to the variety of international programming. You know that because we have listeners all over the world. Maybe they, and and a lot of people don't have the internet. They don't have it. They don't want it. They don't stream. They can't, or they don't have a computer, you know, with them or whatever. Many but the shortwave is still extremely viable. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shortwave stations worldwide, and I I beat this horse all the time, but it's true. Uh, shortwave radios are being produced constantly. Um, every day, there's new models coming out. I mean, uh, and I, I, the cheapest now is uh, Grundig makes. Uh, all digital shortwave radio for twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Uh, twenty nine ninety five, and it's all digitally tuned. Covers all the shortwave bits. Chump change. Yep, chump change. I mean that that's it. You know, you buy it, that's it. No fees, no connection fees, no monthly fees. Just buy it and tune in. Or you know, it's twenty nine ninety five radio. It's not going to have all the you know bells and whistles that a fifty dollar radio will have. I mean, boy, what's fifty dollars now? You know, lunch for two at um, at um, um, the, the Outback Steakhouse or whatever. I mean, come on, folks. So really, I mean, maybe there's some program, maybe there's some pet program out there that you, look, maybe you'd like, forgive my ego, folks, maybe some of you out there would like to hear Alan Wiener Worldwide programs all afternoon, once a week, or, or filling a one, or one hour a day or whatever, and you want to underwrite the time to pay for the transmitter time, or maybe there's some other program on BC, like Radio Timtron Worldwide, or Lumpy Gravy, or whatever, and you want it to be uh, five days a week, and uh, you're willing to pay uh, the fee on that, and, and underwrite the program and make it happen. Um, or, as I said, uh, there's lots of programming on the Internet now, all kinds of specialty programs of all, you know, political, religious, music, uh, specialty, hobbies, everything now. There's, a, there's literally now a radio program for just about every legitimate interest. It's sort of like there's an ass for every toilet seat. I like that, Mal. I like that. I think that's cool. Right. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And um, that's very good. Yes. So, you know, folks, I'm throwing that to, out to you. I'm, I'm sure many of you have thought about it, but uh, I'm encouraging it. We have a lot of open time on 7415, on 5110, um, and on 15420, and there is some morning time available on 9330. So... Uh, Maybe there's a program you'd like to underwrite once a week, once a month. It doesn't matter because any anything now will help BCQ stay on the air and importantly, more importantly, um, bring more diverse programming to WBCQ and the shortwave listening audience in general. So there, I've said my spiel, and that's it. Uh, email is open, WBCQ.